Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody, let's keep up with the euro currency. On the daily chart read, we have not many things to discuss right now, so in general uh, we're watching for long entry on the daily because we consider currently the setup on the daily chart as a part of the mostly weekly analysis where we have the Polish context and currently we're just watching for retracing. This is a strong support area we where we intend to consider taking the long position. So the market currently stands on the way to the strong support. So initially it is in 1970, which is actually has most chances to hold the downward action. But at the same time, we do not exclude the possible retracement even lower in the 1920 area or even 1875, which is 618 support. This is nothing curious for this possible retracement just because this is first bounce after V shape reversal and we have the first reversal swing here has been formed. Usually after reversal swings market tends to show deep retracement. Uh, but not, not, not always. And uh, since this area is rather strong support, we first intend to consider possible taking position right here. So that's the context on the daily weekly basis. So it means that here we're not trading here down, we're mostly just watching for strong support and we'll keep an eye on the lower time frames, trying to catch the uh, reversal bullish pattern around it. This is set up on the daily chart. For a lot of lower time frames analysis, the setup stands differ. Their trend mostly stands bearish as on the daily chart. And there we're trading the, uh, your accounts to the downside based on or some kind of hand drawers or something of that sort of type of action. Currently, the major tricky moment here is that market is entering in a turbulence area where it stands a lot of different supports. So first of all, this is confidence, as you can see, agreement with the COP minor target. That's what I'm talking about recently. So yesterday in the video, I said that here around the former neckline, we have the COP target. And since it stands very close to confidence, that might become the final destination to the downside. So uh, we can't exclude the scenario where a hand shows could fail because this is relatively a strong support area. And in fact, here, downside action, uh, we, as I said, will we'll be watching for a possible reversal passion. But at the same time, uh, it also has the OP target 1937. So it means that for those who have taken position here now, it might at the time to take the most steps to the break even. Later in, in today's session, you could move your stops even to this area. Why? Because just right now, a few seconds ago, we've got bearish grabber, as you can see here. Candle is closed. And the follow time from chart now, we've got here is bearish grabber. Grabber suggests taking out of this loss, it means that the just minor downside action could happen till the COP at least. So that's what we intend to consider. At the same time, you can see that bullish divergence is already starts to grow around major confluence. This is the warning sign for the bears. Uh, personally, in the current circumstances, I would prefer to, to get kind of the carcass cheaper to buy passion. Market will go to the 1618 on the next extensions, slightly deeper maybe. Might happen here that we could get the free drive. Because here, as you can see, first drive stands at one, uh, second stands at 127 of the first. And take a look where it will be. Well, it's not really too far actually. We will not reach the OP coincides with the um, confidence. So in general, it could mean that we could get here the three drive, first drive, second drive, th third drive, and simultaneously will be the bullish reversal patch that we were watching for and taking the position. This is one of the possible scenarios. Uh, 
that we should get actually within the couple of sessions, I suppose. So, but today, uh, in the current moment, we've got the grubber. We have a target that has not been reached yet. This is minimum target. It's very close and it's really high chances the market will touch it. Uh, this is important moment because, as I said, market's coming to the strong area and if you keep shorts, most of the precure and protective position. On the hourly chart, you could see that uh, market is forming some kind of the bearish pennant. It's also suggested possible another minor, at least minor leg down. Maybe it's will be more extended. We do not know, but currently we could count on the reaching of 1990. It's also COP and take a look. Uh, it's very common that market could form the butterfly just to finalize the COP target. It's one when the sound extension stands precisely in the COP targets 1990. So that's the scenario that we will keep an eye on today. Once it will be completed, we turn to the free drive patch and trying to catch it because it could point on, on the level where we could consider taking the long position. This market is coming to strong confidence support area.